Ross Surname Meaning and History, presented by COADB.com. Surname Meaning? It is a Scottish habitational surname denoting a person from any of the places named Ross or Roos, such as Roos in Lancashire and Roos in East Yorkshire. These place names derive from the Welsh word Ros, R-H-O-S, meaning moor, heath, or plain, or perhaps the Gaelic word Ross, meaning promontory, perhaps the Norse word Ross, meaning horse, or the Middle English Roos, meaning red hair. An alternate theory suggests the name is derived from Rots in Normandy, France, the descendants of Godfrey de Ross, tenant of the de Morville Lords of Cunningham, were major landholders in Irishshire, Scotland, and almost certainly took their name from this town. Early bearers of the surname included Serlo de Ross in England in the year 1086, Bernard de Ross in Yorkshire in England in 1177, Godfrey de Ross was documented in Scotland in the year 1189, and Robert Ross was documented in Kent, England in 1199. Clan Ross is a Highland Scottish clan. Uh, the first recorded chief of Clan Ross was a man named Fircher, which in English meant son of the priest, alluding to his O'Boylan descent from the hereditary abbots of Applecross. He helped King Alexander II crush a rebellion by a rival claimant to the throne. He was knighted in 1234, and he was officially recognized with the title Earl of Ross. The clan seat was Balnagown Castle, which we see here. Noble titles held included Lord Ross, a lordship in the Parliament in the Peerage of Scotland, created in 1499 for Sir John Ross of Halkhead one of the three Scottish champions in a tournament against the Burgundians and the keeper of Blackness Castle. Pictured on the right is William Ross, the 12th Lord, who was born around the year 1656. Landed gentry included Ross of Dunmoyle Lodge in, I believe, I'm not sure if this is Ireland or Scotland. Ross of Bladensburg of Ross Trevor in County Down. Ross of Crow Marty. Ross of Pitt Colney. Ross Lewin of Ross Hill in County Clare. Notables include Major General Robert Ross, born 1766, an Irish officer in the British Army who served in the Napoleonic Wars and the theater in North America in the War of 1812, son of Major David Ross, an officer in the Seven Years' War. Sir John Ross, born 1777, was a Scottish Royal Navy officer and polar explorer, son of Reverend Andrew Ross of Balsarach. And his nephew, we have Sir James Clark Ross, born 1800, a British Royal Navy officer and polar explorer known for his explorations to the Arctic. The Honorable David Ross, Lord Ankerville, born 1727, was a Scottish lawyer who rose to be a senator of the College of Justice. Field Marshal Sir Hugh Dalrymple Ross, born 1779, was a British Army officer who served in the Irish Rebellion. He fought as a troop commander in the battles of the Peninsular War and the Hundred Days War. Major General Patrick Ross, born 1740, a military engineer in the Madras, second son of Patrick Ross of Inverness. Sir William Charles Ross, born 1794, was an English portrait and portrait miniature painter of Scottish descent, and he became a member of the Royal Academy in 1842. John Ross, born 1719, an English bishop. George Ross, Jr., born 1730, was an American founding father who signed the Continental Association and the United States Declaration of Independence. And lastly, Elizabeth Ness McBean Ross, born 1878, was a Scottish physician who worked in Persia. And looks like she treated Serbian casualties in 1915, many of whom were victims of typhus. And last slide, early settlers to the New World included Daniel Ross, who came to Boston in 1651. Andreas Ross came to New York in 1710. 
Charles came to South Carolina in 1716. Christopher came to Pennsylvania in 1738. Jean came to New York in 1738. And Catherine, Christina, Donald, and Janet Ross arrived in Nova Scotia, Canada in the year 1773. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coatv.com, where we offer genealogy research service. Link in the description. Thank you very much.